many people will, will be put off by the show, especially those who haven't seen the movie that don't get, uh, they're probably imagining us just stripping the entire time. Actually, that doesn't even happen until the end of the show. Um, we are uh, uh, really trying to put on a show and present uh, the human side of the show. It's a lot, a lot of people are going through. It's kind of a hopelessness and the, uh, I mean, people, the show about the stripping, the stripping is more of showing the vulnerability and taking the vulnerability and turning it into something more powerful. Because we're, we're, we're stripping down with, to, to nothing and just bearing everything. And that's a very vulnerable position. That's what a lot of people feel that they're in right now. There's a lot of pressure in society today to look a certain way or to behave a certain way or to just carry yourself a certain way. And the thing about this show is that it says, hey, people are real. People are not what they look like in magazines, what they say we're supposed to look like on television. And this gives you uh, that freedom to actually just be comfortable with your body and with who you are. And yeah, it, it does definitely take something to be able to get naked in front of a bunch of people. But um, I, honestly, the biggest thing that it takes, believe it or not, is humility. Because you have to be able to admit that you know, you're not perfect, you have flaws, and it's live theater. So there's no touch-ups on the screen or touch-ups on photos. It's 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 all you. <laughs> One of the reasons why I chose or wanted to do this was because it's a way to kind of celebrate. Um, being 58, and in the, in the script, actually, he's 50. So I'm older than he is in the, in the play. And they say, you know, well, he's got, he's 50, he's too old. And, you know, I don't think you're ever too old. I think you have to just kind of look at what you do and how you embrace life and what you do. And so part of me doing this show was a little bit to kind of say, guess what? You know, um, 58's only a number. I think the audience, and I personally found when getting to know it, uh, will find that there's a lot more to it than just that one scene everybody's waiting for. It's not Magic Mike, that's for sure. Uh, the, the show is not really based around the nudity or anything like that. It's really based more around the, the stories of the struggles of these guys and having to come to terms with the fact that, you know, they're out of work. They need some help. They need some kind of assistance. And uh, they know that they're not strippers and they know that they're not necessarily sexy. So it's, it's not really about your traditional kind of stripping. It's more about the freedom and the liberation of accepting who you are and what you look like. I've really learned a lot about myself uh, doing this show as well, playing a character like this and and just, you know, going the full Monty. I mean, who, uh, anyone who knows me would know that this is something that I wouldn't do just, okay, I'll, I'll do this. So uh, it's taken a lot to get comfortable with that point and maybe I'm there, maybe I'm not. You'll have to come to the show and see how it goes. I'm surprisingly very comfortable with this. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna drop my drawers and dance around with my underwear on, you know? So, I mean, yeah. We've been around with these guys for a few weeks and we already practiced in front of the, the, the ladies of the cast, so we should be ready to go for an audience. The audience comfort level, you are thrown right into the mix audience. You have, uh, you know, we've been working on this show for weeks, so we've had uh, a lot of time to you know, get over some of those fears. So I think it will be very exciting to have the audience there uh, and and see their reactions to some of the things. Not just that, again, not just that one moment, but some of those other points of the show that are uh, f funny, some, you know, emotional moments. Um, it'll be great to have an audience. I think we're ready for that next step. Um, we have been rehearsing and we all crack up, I mean, rolling on the floor laughing at some moments of rehearsals because these scenes and just little pieces of the scenes are hysterical. And so I can't wait to have an audience to see what it is and see how they react. I think, I think they'll enjoy it. I think I might even get a few phone numbers after the show.